Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are going to learn the amazing rock, pop rock song "Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. And as part of a series, we are going to look at the intros of all these songs. And if you are interested in the full version, definitely you should leave a comment uh, and hit that bell icon for notifications. We'll definitely be considering a full version of it. But this is just the intros, and I thought I'll put out a series with. the greatest piano intros of all time you're probably going to know all these songs yeah so let's get cracking with the song guys it's on e major so first off let's make a note of the scale e major four sharps okay and the chords for pretty much the whole song uh, and the intro are e major b major c sharp minor A major. So if you are noting it down, you could be uh, noting it down as the one, which is E major, B major, C sharp minor, A major. That's the basic chord progression, which is one five six four. It goes over the entire verse, right? Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. That part. So in the intro. What's really cool is we don't just play the chords like that. We play it in a pattern which the pianist of Journey has created, you know, for the song, exclusively for the song and it sounds really unique. So I will play you just think about it this way. Each chord will have a chord pattern of its own. Each chord has its own unique chord pattern. So if you take E major, he doesn't play it like like a normal piano player. He'll be something like that a very unique pattern so let me play the whole thing a bit slowly and then i am going to explain it right hand left hand blah 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 this, this is how the whole intro sounds and there's also an incredible left hand bass which you are going to now hear As you can see, there's a very catchy bass line. Da 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 piano goes it's like really low so it's just cool to know i guess so the right hand first and then the left hand the right hand we call this as broken chords because you don't whack the chord head on that's what we call as a block so with a broken chord you're going to play it the top notes the upper notes and then the lower note the first chord is just a simple e fifth it's not really an e major chord as you would expect it's actually a fifth chord so you want to hold your hand like this in this position and go you can see the notation as well these are quavers or eighth notes so it's dividing the beat into two units and we count One and two and three and four and and that's the first chord. That's it. Let's play that together. Try and play it along with me if possible. One and two and three and four and and just to start off, before we bring in the fancy bass line, let's just play the root of the chord. Theory tells us that the root of E major is in fact E. Just hold that down. Get that going. Okay, second chord is not so far away. You just move your this note. You remove the finger from here. Add your middle finger to the F sharp, and then your bass goes to B. E. B. In fact, this is a very healthy version to play the song with, just with the roots of the chord. E. B. 
now you come back bring back your index finger to e but play c sharp bass in the left so it adds a very interesting sound you could call this chord as c sharp minor 7th so e major just a small town girl b by the way this intro carries on when they start singing so it's not just the intro it's like literally more than half of the song which you're going to learn right now so 1 2 3 4 change to b and your uh, middle finger wax the f sharp 2 3 4 7 2 3 4 c sharp 2 with e complementing it in the right hand so so far the b's have just never changed right the thumb b and the pinky b are like right there so so far we go back to the original right hand and now move your entire right hand down sort of down a step if you think about it. just a little to the left and you're getting yourself an a major chord but played in this nice unique way without the fifth with the octave with the third so it's just like an a chord with the third and no fifth so that's the last chord the pinky will be playing a okay or the bass note whole thing again whole story a very important tip would be to move your head to the music while playing that you need to be on time because this is more of an accompaniment thing inevitably there's going to be a singer there's going to be a drummer and an entire rock band on board so you want to keep time and the best way to do that is move your head keep it slow remember to drop that okay that's line 1 of the intro guys the line 2 is almost a carbon copy of line 1 but little bit of change i'll show you and before we do it'll be awesome if you could give the video a like or a thumbs up uh, there's that bell somewhere smash that bell as they say leave us a comment what you thought about the lesson and also if there's any other stuff you'd like to learn let us know in the comments and if you haven't subscribed you have to subscribe right now i mean right now okay moving moving to the line 2 so 2 3 one well line to the f- the first two bars are the same e b now the third chord is different it's a g sharp minor 7 so you go the index finger used to be whacking e now it w- it plays d sharp okay which is the seventh degree of the e major scale e b with the same f sharp now remember i said it's g sharp minor 7th so you need to play g sharp in the bass to to imply the chord and back to that usual a so what change between line 1 and line 2 just the third chord or the third bar so e major ba 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 which we learn later b ba 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 c sharp minor ba ra ra e major ba ra ra E major, ba ra ra b. Don't forget the G sharp minor. A. Let's let's try and get this to somewhere close to the original speed. bass you may be arguing where's the bass line right don't worry we're going to get there hang on first get this really well rock solid try to sing if you're a singer if your goal is to sing and do this together by all means try and sing okay 2 3 4 1 2 it's living in a lonely world yeah he took a midnight train going in 
Hope that's cool with you. Now let's move to the next section and real and get this intro. 100% we are not holding back there are a lot of videos on youtube which i sort of researched before trying to do this one and almost everything was like a basic version or easy to play version i mean that's not why you want to learn these great piano intros if you want to learn them you should learn them exactly the way it's on the record so that's what i've tried to do and uh, there's also a transcription waiting for you if you read sheet music it's waiting for you on our patreon page you could head over there and check it out you'll get the pdf score of all of this stuff Uh, not only this song pretty much anything we do on our youtube channel of late over the past couple of years uh, we are also offering the midi files of this so some students tell me that there's like this app which you import the file into and you can see the notes a lot clearly in that environment so if you need the midi it's there as well and there's also a muse score file a uh, muse score is an open source software you don't pay any money for it it's it's amazing and we use it a lot i use it students use it a lot at the school so we use that to notate to transcribe so we'll put a link in the description so there'll be an a muse score file which you can get on our patreon and just double click that and it'll open into your muse score uh, software and you could research it look at it change it around change the key transpose it maybe you don't like like e major so you can do all of this stuff in muse code okay coming to the bass line and let's close it close it out i'll play it first okay so the bass if you ask me is sort of like creating an adventure for the chords it's sort of like you have a goal to go in x amount of corners of a park uh, not x amount four corners are there so you you go from point 1 to point 2 and you just aimlessly walk or you could go from point 1 to point 2 and like and have a momo or a like a pani puri or something or say hello to some random guy who walks on the street if you need to now in that's exactly what the bass line is doing so instead of doing which is just point a to point b movement you can create a more adventurous motion which is what journey do right so that's a beautiful baseline right there because he's approaching the next target note of the upcoming chord which is b major to do that he's just using scale steps second f sharp g sharp b ba 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 and the timing is also interesting ba 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 the b comes up in at the off beat 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and and 2 check out the notation if you need to 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and here what really helps me personally is to sing that da da da, da in which ever octave you find comfortable You could do it with swaras if you wish. Sa re ga pa, sa re ga pa, right? Those are the 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 note letters or the interval names. Sa re ga pa, da ni da, da ni da. What happened there? C sharp, D sharp, C sharp. So approaching B, approaching C sharp. Every one of my chord landings happen off the beat. One and two and three and four and 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 one other and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And 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 that was a bit tricky. I'll teach you that. separately so one and with the right which we learned earlier get that let's only do that there we go the other one C sharp A 
watch your right hand needs to drift down that's beautiful nisa sa nisa it's like a huge bass drop right if you don't have a 88 key piano and you're losing out on all the fun of this low end bass uh, you don't have to actually go and buy an 88 key you can keep the same 61 key you have and there's an op option called the transpose option so you can go minus minus till it get re reaches minus 12 minus 12 goes down an octave then you'll get you'll get that depth okay the whole first line let's sort that out slowly and i'm singing the bass da 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 repeat da 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 change slightly now the reason why i did that is that's what the bass guitar is playing in the song so just that one line i thought we'll just steal it from the bass player and play it on the piano so if you can do that do it if not just hold g sharp i think it's a lot cooler if you do i'll do that isolated almost every land is on the off or the end this is what we call as rhythmic anticipation in music i've done a ton of videos on rhythmic anticipation go to our youtube channel just type that in you'll get a lot of videos so uh, again whole story slowly second line Watch the G sharp octave lick. Ba ba ba. And the end is very important when you do. Ba ba ba. The piano player at the very end, before the singer starts singing the verse, he doesn't go. Ba ba ba. He doesn't go off E. He goes on E. So that that means. Ba ba ba. I think that's a very cool compositional trick done by the player or the band where you know it's pulling you into the verse just like propelling you into the verse otherwise the verse would just be like something copy pasted on the piano you know which he played in the intro so it's a timeless classic this intro and learn it well try to learn it on the original key which is what i taught you all through the lesson e major uh, there's all this c major stuff out there as you all know especially the subscribers who've been with us for a while you know how i hate c major right so but however there'll be some great piano intros on c major so i will teach you that and so on and so forth right guys again this is jason here from nathaniel hope you found the lesson useful this was the intro of the iconic song don't stop believing by journey uh, do do, uh, do consider giving the video a like giving the video a share leave us a comment with what you thought thought about the lesson and what you'd like to learn in the future and you can also consider heading over to our website you can go through some of the upcoming workshops where you can learn live lessons and courses with me you could also consider some of our video courses which are on nathanielschool.com cheers catch you in the next one